Hi, in this video, I will show you how to create and send a new credential. First things first, let's go ahead and click the Create and Send New Credential button on the left menu. Let's go ahead and name our credential campaign. This is not visible to your recipients. This is just for your credentials to stay organized. You can also make your credential private, which means nobody will have access to it unless your recipients share it online. Let's go ahead and create details for your campaign. First, you should choose a credential type from this list, whether if it's online course, online event, or anything else. All of this information will be displayed on the credential verification page once your recipients receive their credentials. Here, you can state the duration of your course and state if it was paid or not. You can set an expiry date for your credential as well. If your credential does not need any update in the future, you can skip this step and choose a no expiry date option. If you set an expiry date, your recipients will be notified with an email notification saying that their credential is about to expire. If you do not want to send these emails to your recipients, you can switch it off from here. And the last step here is to state the level. Earning criteria is the requirements you set for your recipients for them to achieve their credentials. Last step to complete details is to add a skill. You can make a skill search from our library or you can type your own or you can choose from AI generated skill suggestions. Now that we created our campaign details, let's move on with credential design. You can choose a new design from the basis section or you can upload your own design. You can add a simple text, image, add shapes to your design to fully customize. Once you click on the template, you can adjust the colors from the color picker. Ribbon and icon sections allows you to customize your badge design further with the items that will fit into your design. Once you click on them, you can adjust their sizes as well. One of the most important things in your design are the attributes, as they allow you to add the information you would like to be shown on your badge. The attribute will be added to the design once you click on them. Recipients' informations are obtained from the Excel file that you upload to the system, which we will see on the following steps. You can upload your organization logo, signature or any other image to complete your design from the images tab. You can click and drag images here and adjust their sizes. QR code feature allows your recipients to have access to their credentials by scanning them easily on their smartphones. The QR code will be added to the design once you click on the add QR code button. You can locate and adjust its size and change its color. Make sure it has good contrast so it's scannable. Let's move on with the email template. This is the email that your recipients will receive from your company. Let's name it first to make it easier to find within the app later. You can customize your email body text from the email body section, change fonts, font size, add links, add images, or anything you like. Attributes are also an important part of your emails. You can choose any attribute from the attributes and add it to your email. You can show helper texts to inform your recipients about the digital credentials in general. If you do not wish to do so, you can switch it off from here. You can place a scannable QR code for your credential. Once your recipients scan them, it will instantly direct them to the credential verification page. Branding settings allow you to fully customize your emails. You can upload and use your organization logo and make it appear small, medium or large. You can customize the footer text and change the button text, which your recipients will claim their credentials once you send it to them. And change the color of this button to fit into your company logo. Here, you can add your company's social media accounts and also change the language of the email. We will complete the email template section by typing a subject and by typing a sender name. As a last step, let's upload our recipients. 
Click on the Upload Recipients button on the top. You can drag and drop your Excel file here. Once you upload the file, you need to match them with the correct attribute. Once you match them, they will turn into green from yellow. You will be asked if you would like to update these informations of your recipients. You can skip to update the information if this is your first time uploading an Excel file. Hit the save button and now we uploaded our recipients. A page where you can take one last look at the things you created will appear once you click on the preview and send button. This is how your recipients will see their credential on the credential verification page and the email once they receive it. If you wish, you can send a test credential to yourself Schedule it to send later or send it right away. That's it for this video. Hope you find it helpful. You can find more information on our YouTube channel and our help center as well. Sign up to Certifier to try it yourself. Bye!